The China Open 2018 was the tournament where Anthony Ginning being claimed the nickname of the giant killer as he defeated four world champions in a row, Lin Dan, Victor Axelsson, Chen Long, and Kento Momoda. At the age of 21, he defeated Victor Axelsson, who was already world number one at that time. Let us witness what had he done so well to win against the 2017 world champion. Henning found the empty space and hit a winning cross block. Oh my goodness, that was a great decision to play that. Ginning's forehand cross court smash works very effective on Axelson. Tournament existed. And that was Peter Gaida. Oh my goodness, that's a good shot. Axelson immediately punished Jane's short lift. When the shuttle is pushed flat to the round the head position. <laughs> what I've seen. Well, Very difficult perfect for defensive shot Axelson. from Ginning. Yes, indeed it did. Yeah. Fantastic dive and backhand by Axelson to retrieve the shuttle. And gets up so quickly. That's where the agility training has it come is. in. Under pressure. Up until the Asian Games, but of course a uh, gold and a bronze medal for Indonesia. Was what they Sudden flick came caught for Axelson's and, uh, off guard. They maintained that way because um, Kinsing here, he, uh, he played some fantastic badminton. He, in the final against China, he had uh, two match points. In the second game against Xi Yuqi, eventually didn't capitalize. Was experiencing some uh, stamina problems in the third game. And cramps and... Uh, Great counterattack play goodness. by Jinti. So that was uh, a real dramatic Olympics. I mean, there's only a few Europeans missing in terms of uh, Asian games and you have an Olympic tournament. Well oh, that's nice. An authentic Indonesian's play style. Dominate the net followed by a winning smash. Yeah, right. So now it's Ginting back into the lead. One of three straight points. Axelsen almost shocked Jinning right there. Those 10 days the Asian games were played. Not oh, earlier. Delightful on. forehand cross slice oh, smashed by Axelson. Just before that. That's where it's so good, is, isn't it? Moving Axelson from back to front court forced his error. Oh. It's called a fault. I didn't, I seriously didn't see whether it's... No. I didn't notice it suddenly coming higher. Eventually, Axelson's smash error closed up game one. Mister. 
and coming line, to game two, we can clearly see him increase his speed on court. What a deadly backhand smash from Axelson. Axelson, which you, we don't you, know. Definitely when you play into the net once, you want to be ready with the racket so that if you push one. Axelson's powerful overhead cross stick smash. Finding showcased extraordinary speed on court. From the day. And I think Ginting is more explosive in his movement. Yeah, much, much more. That, that's what uh, causes some troubles for, uh, for Kento Momota. In my opinion, he's, he's the player right now who's closest to... Uh, nice. nice hold and flick deception by Axelson oh, left to be stranded. Close drop shot, so Ginting will play the net and then you can play a 50-50 shot back at him. Oh, well, Axelson's well. super sharp smash from three meters, smash point, height. Giving your opponent the chance of playing. You invest, you say, okay, well, that's what's got to happen. And then you raise Good pressure by the uh, Players' Federation say, here's a uh, rule that we. And to uh, make exemptions, it might be available. Super for close to be returned by Guinea. On, or next yeah. year's, eventually, you became aware that there's uh, some uh, situations where the rules are not really fit, so you amend them. And uh, the should be done here as well, in my opinion. Yeah. To me, so he's going through the motions. Finally, Anthony Ginning defeated Victor Axelson in two straight games, 21-18, 21-17. What a game from both players. Please like if you enjoy the video and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.